Hey, Dom, this is Dave Decide. Today, I want to get into RM's words on the love he receives, and some fans were angry about that. I also wanted to talk about why people believe RM shaded other groups like Big Bang and what happened there. We need to talk about Olivia Rodrigo and people believing she clapped back after getting involved with some BTS drama. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a taste spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing they need to talk about is Olivia Rodrigo clapping back and Sugar's hair and some news articles covering this. There is allegedly drama and the two I don't even think really spoke to each other. This is all fan-made sort of drama. Sugar posted a photo of him with long hair on his Instagram. It covered his face a bit and it was just so beautiful. It looked very wet like he was just coming out of a pool and it's very sexy. I think it's also a very romantic look. People were freaking out about Sugar's hair because they were scared that Sugar would need to shave that after enlisting in the military. Of course that would be so sad. Jokes of Sugar can go ahead and enlist, but he must leave his hair started to circulate. Of course, this brought up the topic of how BTS is going to look when they enlist, or if they would be slightly insecure about enlisting because they would be losing all of their beautiful hair. Soon after the internet began to be filled with the trend hashtag Mi Rapo Por BTS, which is Spanish for I shave myself for BTS, and the trend began to be filled with people shaving their head in support of what BTS might look like when they enlist in the military. It's so beautiful to see all these people shave their heads and still look really nice. When the trend reached the US, someone made a fake post as a joke to say that Olivia Rodrigo is showing support to BTS by shaving her head. It was believed that the post made its rounds over on Spanish Twitter and people believed it was so real that Olivia actually shaved her head for BTS. Maybe like a day or so after, Olivia likely unrelated posted some photos where we could see that Olivia had her hair. This was believed as Olivia way of clapping back or saying that she is not shaving her head. However, this theory is very weird to me. I don't like it. First off, I don't see that many tweets involving this. I just saw maybe one or two, but oftentimes things that are in another language, it's difficult for me to find it. So take this rumor or headline with a grain of salt. I don't know if anyone was mad here. I don't even think Olivia saw it or anything like that. And I definitely do not think any artist would shave their head for BTS. It was obviously a joke, but when people started to believe it, I question the thought process a bit. Olivia is her own artist and when you change a look, this has to be approved by the label and go along with the album concept. An artist can't just dye, bleach, or shave their head willy-nilly. This isn't like you or me showing support to a friend and doing whatever we want. In contracts that involve your image, you can literally be sued by the label for disrupting that image. All to support a bunch of people she's not even that close with, like they maybe had one or two conversations. The other thing that it, the other thing that is frustrating is because of things like this. A lot of artists don't want to associate with BTS or call BTS their friend, not because BTS is mean or they're bad friends, but because now the identity of anyone that works with BTS is now just BTS. Like Charlie Puth is no longer successful, he is only successful because of Jungkook. Olivia Rodrigo would only shave her head to support BTS and not because she would either want to or it's fake news. Artists have their own identity and things that they want to do for themselves that often even their closest friends or family wouldn't have the ability to sway them. Social media is very much an echo chamber and that's how the algorithm codes were designed to just echo your thoughts and opinions. And that's okay to an extent, but just be aware that what you're seeing in your feed is not the reality of the world. There's feeds out there where people literally never come across BTS or pop celebrities. I think someone who heavily supports Trump would likely not see foreign K-pop or any liberal type of content on their feed ever. Some may not even know what BTS is, and they may think that the only topic that is currently relevant in the world is Trump, and that's not true. I also kind of strongly believe that someone like Olivia may not even get BTS on her feed because she may not have the time to be on social media, and or she has so many friends in the industry that her feed may not even have enough space to have BTS there. But that's just a theory. Basically, don't just assume that everything any celebrity does is for the sake of BTS. Of course, I can understand why someone would think that given how big they are. Hive even created an entire museum on BTS's success and that is something that not everyone gets to have in their lifetime. Typically the museums will be built after they're dead or at least their career is over. Anyone can visit Korea and go to Hive Insight Museum and just look at all the achievements BTS and the individual members have made. BTS just dropped a video where RM got to explore the museum and RM got a little emotional after seeing it all. He explained that not all hard work 
work gets rewarded in the same way. It's all a part of life and we often can't control how people feel. BTS was able to somehow connect with so many different people. I don't think there is one specific thing you can specify as to why. People try to explain the boys' success with things like they're good looking, talented, and kind, but these are not the things that are unique to any particular celebrity. The way we connect with BTS is just an undescribable feeling. We don't actually know why, we just do. RM continues to talk about how lucky he is and even that he feels the success and reward he has gotten is a bit undeserving. I have a lot of opinions on this. There's two ways to think of something. You can choose to see it as BTS maybe undeservingly taking the spotlight for another artist or you can take it as a way where every artist that works hard deserves success but it just so happens that BTS got what they deserve. So BTS is the only group that is now properly ranked at the level they deserve to be at. So it's not we're the lucky ones but more so our hard work paid off. A lot of ARMY were mad at RM's words because they felt like RM definitely deserves the spotlight and RM is being too modest, claiming that BTS and RM had helped ARMY get through some dark times. Their words and teachings of love yourself and be happy are all things we listen to closely and have helped us see better days. People want BTS to see themselves for who they are as talented, successful people that deserve what they have. I think every artist or creative person deals with imposter syndrome because there is always someone better. I don't have an answer to how to fix that. I think having that to a certain degree is healthy, but if it's resulting in depression, then that's not good. I'm not saying RM has depression, but a lot of people in the industry do. I also think that sometimes some of RM's actions get taken out of context. And I understand why, because RM is the front man. So if you're so inclined to take things out of context, then he is the one to do that because he speaks the most. There was a recent fan sign moment that seemed to be talked about. I can't give you the exact date of this, but I assume recent enough as at least around their last fan sign. So if you aren't aware, Korean fan signs or meet and greets are a little different. The idols sit down on a table and you can come up to each one and talk and have a moment with each of them. Since there's sometimes hundreds of people, some fan signs may choose to write their dying questions down and just get a quick answer from the idol. One person asked the question of why do you think BTS has lasted so long as they have and what is the secret to that? Arm responded with a one word answer saying attitude. BTS probably has some of the best attitudes not only in K-pop but in the world. It took them a minute to even describe themselves or call themselves successful and famous. They didn't seem to like that word but I think at this point it's difficult to deny. And a lot of netizens made comments on this ranging from they're the only group after almost a decade that has never had a member fallen off track. This is likely referring to the fact that none of them have ever had a drug scandal or touched anyone or went to jail. People in the industry do these things because they think that they are so famous and successful that they can get away with it. And some celebrities do get away with it. People were thinking that maybe RM was implying that YG or specifically groups like Big Bang saying that their attitude is why they haven't continued. But that is not what RM is saying at all. Simply saying that BTS has a good attitude simply means that. RM was not referring to any specific group but just the industry as a whole. This is not an isolated incident in which only one group in the world has ever had a scandal. We also never know what is going on behind the scenes and BTS is good friends with Big Bang. I highly doubt BTS would be friends with anyone who has a bad attitude. We know half the story and we know very little of the story. We know the story that the media and the haters tried to portray but we don't know what's actually going on. BTS is more so I think too cautious of how their image is portrayed which has likely led to them being super isolated in their downtime to make sure that they don't get media coverage for something and made to look bad. Other groups care less or as I said not referring to any specific group but we just don't know the full story. But what do you think about RM's words and do they make you upset that he feels he doesn't deserve the success? Do you think RM was shading Big Bang? And how do you feel about people thinking Olivia shaved her head? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.